Ms. Shikowsky for questions, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to focus on the mindset of BP when it comes to its workers. Um, you said in your opening statement that you were personally devastated. You attended a memorial service for those men. It was a shattering moment. I want to offer my sincere condolences to their friends and families. I can only imagine their sorrow. Um, probably not as devastated as the widows that testified before our, our committee. And I asked um, them, what about BP? What kind of contact have you had um, with uh, BP since the incident? Letters, phone calls, visits. And Natalie Rashto said, two BP men attend attended Shane's services and they they never extended a hand, a hug, never extended a we're sorry, their condolences. The only words that came out of their mouth was where they were to be seated, and I never saw them after that. I asked, what about you, Mrs. Kemp? Two BP men came to Wyatt Services, and one extended his hand. I shook it. He told me he was very sorry for my loss. He asked if he could hug me. He did. The other gentleman extended his hand, told me who he was. And they sent two plants to the service, service. And that is the extent of my conversation or any dealings with BP. That's it. Do you feel that you owe something more to those women um, and to the, in, in, just in terms of expressing something and some and more? As I said, I, I'm devastated by the accident. Absolutely devastated. And I, I feel great sorrow for the people who have been impacted by it. Well, they haven't heard anything. But they, okay. the, the, uh, the, the people who were, who were killed in the accident were not BP employees. They're employees of Transocean and another contractor. And both of them made it very clear that they wanted to deal with the families. We have provided support uh, to both Transocean, Transocean and MI Swalpe. I guess I was talking and, and to we you were, as, uh, as and, a human and being. And we have made it clear that we will provide all and every need for the families, but... The, the okay, let, the let, let, let me ask a, another question. There were BP personnel on the, the rig, and we read that oil workers from the rig were held in seclusion on the open water for up to two days after the April 20 explosion, while attorneys attempted to convince them to sign legal documents stating that they were unharmed by the incident. The men claimed that they were forbidden from having any contact with concerned loved ones during that time and were told that they would not be able to go home until they signed the documents they were presented with. Um, after being awake for 50 harrowing hours, Stephen Davis caved in and signed the papers. He said most of the others did as well. Do you think this is an appropriate way to um, treat people that experience that? Um, and since your executives, so you had people on the, uh, on the rig, what was their feeling about that? What is your feeling about that? Uh, I think it's inappropriate and it was nothing to do with BP. I see, and BP had no uh, comment on it and had no opportunity. I mean, did, did the company know about it? Was there any? We, well, I, I don't believe we were aware it was taking place, but it was certainly nothing to do with BP. Okay, well, I did mention during my opening statement this uh, document that basically says such voluntary effort shall be at my own risk that people were made to uh, uh, sign. And... There were two court appearances that were needed to finally get uh, BP to take responsibility, but what I understand is that BP continued to fail to provide adequate protective gear to the fishermen. Um, and on May 16th, OSHA issued a detailed directive on the training requirement for specific task responders and stated that OSHA had officials monitoring the training and observing the, the cleanup. But according to testimony we heard in Louisiana, still BP failed to provide respirators to the workers exposed to the crude oil and the workers experienced health impacts. The workers were afraid to speak up due to the potential to lose their jobs. Those fishermen who attempted to wear respirators while working were threatened to be fired by BP due to the workers using the respirators. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I'm not aware of that. What we clearly are endeavoring to do is to ensure that anyone involved in the response is appropriately provided with whatever 
safety equipment is required. Endeavoring um, to provide, um, well, are we, the we, workers currently provided with what they need? Uh, uh, absolutely. In you, every case, we're trying to make certain that people do not again, put you're them... you're trying to make certain, but are, do, are all, is all the equipment there and are all these workers protected? To my knowledge, yes. Thank you. I yield back. 